Welcome to this session about post-enlargement migration and European identity. My name is Agnieszka Radziwinowiczówna. I'm Marie Curie, research fellow here at the Faculty of Arts, Business and Social Sciences. This Panopto session will be divided to five different videos to make sure that you can return to a video that you may find more complicated or something that you just need to hear again. So this first part is about the introduction to the topic. The second part will be about the history and main characteristics of Polish migration to the UK. The third part will be about the social, the social cultural change occurring as a result of this post-enlargement migration of the Polish people to the United Kingdom. The fourth part will be about Brexit, what happened in 2016, as you remember the Brexit referendum, and what happened as, as follows and also about the return migration, the return of migrants that we have been observing since 12, uh, for the last 12 years. And finally, the fifth part of this Panopto session about post-enlargement migration to the UK uh, is about the assignments that I would like you to do because this session will not be three hours session at as it would normally be uh, if you would be able to have a face-to-face -face class. Because of this particular circumstances that we are facing nowadays, I decided to leave you some, I think, pretty fun uh, assignments uh, to make sure that you can do a little bit of your individual work. Uh, trust me, it won't take much of your time. Hopefully, all together, it won't be more than three hours that we should be in the class during this face-to-face -face session, as it was supposed to be. So I am I know that during this uh, Panopto session, we are not able to talk about everything uh, when it comes to uh, Polish migration to the UK. Uh, in a bit, I will explain why we are talking about the Polish migration to the UK uh, during this session. Uh, but if you, if any of you is interested in this topic, if any of you would like to research more, you are more than welcome. There is a lot of uh, there is a lot of resources that you can find online, and I invite you to visit this website uh, where you can find the profiles of researchers uh, of uh, uh, Polish migration, mainly to the UK, but also to other countries. Uh, there is also the list of publications uh, of, of researchers uh, dealing with the topic and uh, the conferences, if seminars, many of them taking place here in the UK. Uh, so maybe if interested, you will be able to attend some of them. Obviously, uh, if you have any questions regarding this topic, feel free to email me. Uh, you have uh, my contact details on, on Canvas. Also on the first slide, there was my email address. So uh, if there is anything that interests you, please let me know. Also, if there is anything that requires, that, uh, requires uh, any answers, clarifications, feel free to contact me. I am available to you guys. So this first part, as I said, is to give you a little bit of the overview about the post-enlargement migration. So first, what is enlargement? What, was, what, what were the EU enlargements? Uh, so I'm sure that you already know this, just in a nutshell. Uh, we will be talking about three EU enlargements, starting with the biggest one in 2004, when 10 new member states joined the European Union and you've got them on the map. As you, as you already know, we will focus on the uh, Polish migration here to the UK. So Poland joined the European Union in 2004 together with, with uh, nine other member states. Then in 2007, the next enlargement that, that also caused another um, big migration, especially of the uh, Romanian people. So 2007, it's Romania and Bulgaria that are joining the European Union. 
And finally, the last enlargement that we have seen so far, uh, 2013, when Croatia joins the European Union. But you already know, 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 know all of this. That was just to remind you. Uh, so why this subtitle? Uh, as as you as you can remember, why the subtitle? Who are these people who who contributed to the decision to leave the European Union? Obviously, it's uh, 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 oh, it's it's just like a way to call your attention uh, to the topic. As as you uh, as I'm sure you you talked two sessions ago uh, with your with your uh, professor uh, Martin Partridge, the. Uh, post-enlargement migration was one of the reasons that made uh, the people who voted pro-leave uh, to vote uh, as they as they did. So we want to understand during this session who are the post-enlargement migrants, uh, what are their char characteristics, uh, what are really the statistics uh, regarding this group. So I would like to invite you to the mythologize uh, this uh, this group. Uh, so let's start with the numbers. These are these charts shows uh, the number of uh, the the five most common nationalities uh, in the UK. Uh, and as it has been evolving in the second decade of the twenty first century. So we have, uh, um, as you can see, uh, po the Polish. The Polish ha have been the biggest uh, group here in the UK, uh, bigger than the nationals of India or uh, Republic of Ireland. Uh, as you can see, after the uh, uh, EU accession of Romania, the number of Romanians have uh, been. Uh, growing significantly, and uh, currently these statistics are for the the last year that are available, 2018, are pretty much the same, with the Polish people uh, being the most numerous group, followed by 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 people from India, Ireland, Romania, and Portugal. As you perhaps remember during the a Brexit uh, referendum, and be, be, before the Brexit referendum, there was this discussion uh, about uh, EU migrants, especially from Eastern Europe, who come here and do not work, but are benefiting from the uh, UK welfare system, uh, taking benefits from local councils. Is that true? Is that correct that EU migrants are not in uh, wage labor. Uh, let's look at let's look at this chart, where we have the percentage of those aged sixty to forty six in employment by country of birth. Uh, so here, as you can see, we have years. This part shows us the percentage. And as you can see, this chart shows the uh, the different uh, groups. We have EU members from 2004 and after. So you already know which national groups we are talking about. With here with the Polish people as the most numerous group. Uh, we have the locals, that is the UK citizens and also people from Ireland. We have. Uh, people from the 14 EU member states or f for, uh, 14 EU uh, uh, member states pre 2004 EU members. That's the sorry, that's the uh, pink line. And finally, the um, this marine blue line shows us the uh, people who are not from. EEA countries, as you probably already know, EEA stands for European Economic Area. So that so that so we are talking about so-called third country nationals, people from people from Asia, Africa, who are not uh, UK citizens. As you can see at this chart, uh, uh, the people from 
a so-called post enlargement eu migration uh, are uh, the are, are in employment the most often uh, here this uh, this table shows us the numbers of people who are unemployed the percentage of people who are unemployed and when we look at uh, the numbers um, when we look at unemployment rate for the polish citizens here in all of the uk please uh, have a look, quick look at this part of the of the chart of the uh, table just uh, a little less uh, than 2% of the Polish citizens are unemployed in the UK, according to Labour Force Survey, as published in SOPEMI report in 2018. So those are pretty recent data. Uh, so that's why I would like to invite you to, to, to talk about uh, the Polish migration to the UK because the, the Polish people are the biggest group of the post-enlargement migration to the UK, but also the Polish people are the biggest national group of, of non-UK citizens living here in the UK. That's why it's important to understand this group and it's important to understand the history of migration. So, Poland has been called the country of, of migration or the country of emigration because Poles have been migrating for more than a century now. Uh, and the reasons behind this, this migration are political and economic. Uh, political, among the political reasons, uh, we should name the historical upheavals, uh, such as the uh, appraisings in the 19th century, uh, then the, the the war, especially the Second World War, that caused big um, mobility of the population. Uh, the, uh, this migration has been multi-directional. Uh, people who, ha who had to seek refuge, uh, running away from Poland, uh, run away to do to different parts of the world and this is of course an example of forced migration when you have to 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 run away from your country because you don't you cannot feel safe but also um uh, uh, but also this political uh political um migration was voluntary uh, when especially during the times of communism uh when when people can couldn't work uh and and, and or when people couldn't earn a living in uh, in Poland and nonetheless uh, some of them weren't persecuted politically and they and they were migrating and among the economic uh, reasons behind this migration uh, is, is is obviously uh, the uh, low standard of life and this uh, this uh, this dream of going to the west especially uh, to earn a living, also to send money back home in case of uh, people who migrated but already had their families in Poland. So there was this myth of the West uh, that uh, uh, that caused and is that that caused and is uh, is still causing migration of the people to the Western countries. Obviously, not only to the UK but also to the uh, neighbor country of Poland, that is Germany. Also, there was there were uh, important number of people who migrated from Poland to the United States of America. Uh, now these uh, migration flows are less significant uh, because of uh, uh, of uh, easier and cheaper migration to uh, Western Europe. So this is uh, all uh, uh, for this part of the session. Um, the next part of the session will be about the history and main characteristics of the Polish migration to the UK.